YouTube and welcome to your 29th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we will be learning about an operator called instance of now I think I should have taught you this in the prototype section of videos but never mind better late than never and about this instance of keyword or operator this instance of operator returns true or false if the it returns true if the variable we are supplying on the left hand side is an instance of or is a object which belongs to the object on the right hand side let me show you an example first of all let's create a string stored in foo as new string and we'll do like any string right here anything would do and we'll just console log this and we'll do foo instance of string so if you remember from the prototype section now we are calling the constructor of the string and we are assigning in the parenthesis the parameter as JavaScript so it creates a new string <coughs> and remember this is not a primitive value this is a string value right here if we remove the new keyword right here then this would be a primitive value but with the keyword new this is a string value and is the browser let's reload this and we get true as expected now if we remove this new keyword now what happens is that we'll get false now why is that because if I create another variable string with JavaScript and now let's console log these two separately console log the foo first and console log the bar then what happens is if I reload this then we see two different things here first of all we are seeing first in the foo variable we created a new string with the with an object now string right here is an object in the foo but bar in the bar we are just assigning this string function and passing a string so this function right there creates a primitive value so obviously this thing is not equal to this thing so if we do bar instance of string then obviously it would return as false now in the production sites basically when you take the sites live or your client sites or anything or your own site we don't usually use instance of regularly but yeah it is yeah it is useful to keep in memory or know what is instance of and how it is used so I just taught you how to use instance of let's to take and look on another example if you want then we have a number 111 then we create a separate number like this and this is technically equal to this sentence only because we are not using the constructor function so it creates a primitive value only so we have like foo instance of string and then we do bar instance of and paste this number okay true false as expected now basically we use instance of keyword to check whether uh, or to determine what is the data type of a variable for example in languages like int uh, oh sorry languages like C and C++ we use data types like int or char and like that to store the values but in JavaScript we have keyword var through which we could create any variable and the variable can hold any value so using instance of you can check whether the value is a string a number or a object of any of your constructor function you have created uh, like that so this was a short tutorial on instance of and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there